Well, hi there. You're still watching MX24. Time to update you in the world of sports. Uh, we start here from the local scene and Kumasi Asante Kotoko have returned to training for the very first time in six months after government lifted the ban on football activities in their country. Now, football has been on suspension since uh, March uh, 16 due to the coronavirus pandemic leading to the cancellation of last season's uh, Premier League. Now, Coach Max Okunudu and his charges will be hoping to win yet another Premier League trophy when the new season begins in November. And away from the locals, in former Chelsea forward Didier Drogba has been picked as the recipient of the 2020 UEFA President Award by Alexander Seferin, with the UEFA President selecting the Ivorian for his commitment to excellence both and of the pitch. Now, the President Award recognizes outstanding achievement, professional excellence, and exemplary personal qualities and suffering is full of admiration for Drogba's desire to help improve the lives of children in developing countries following his retirement. Now, Didi Drogba is a hero to millions of football fans for his achievement throughout his glittering playing career. He is a leader, a pioneer. I remember him as a player for his skill, strength and intelligence, but above all, for his insatiable appetite to succeed, a trait which is just a present in his desire to help others of the field of play. This is according to Alexander Seferin, who is a UEFA president. Well, we still do some more here in Cameroon. Methoda Marcel Wamba kept Depp uh, has been arrested in Mauritius after he tried to illegally obtain a Mauritanian passport. Now, uh, the 27-year-old has been uh, playing in Mauritania, uh, side uh, that's a uh, Rochi Boys uh, bought in city and was hoping to travel to Europe uh, with a document. Now, kept Depp uh, remains in police custody after his professional indictment, provisional indictment in court. Well, and away from that, uh, let's quickly go to England and check what happened last night in the Karabakh. Well, Missy Mount missed a crucial spot kick as Tottenham Hotspur edge past Chelsea on penalties after a 1 1 draw in regulation time. If Chelsea couldn't make the next stage of the Carabao Cup. Tottenham Hotspur are through to the next round. The light, uh, you know, yesterday, uh, the manager of uh, Spurs, that's uh, Jose Mourinho, was very delighted. Well, uh, tonight, uh, four matches will be played in the Carabao Cup. We'll have Newport uh, County. They will come up against Premier League side Newcastle United. Burnley, Manchester City also happening tonight uh, in the Carabao Cup with Brighton and Hove Albion, Manchester United and then Everton we take on West Ham United in an all-English Premier League encounter. Well, we still stay in England and Liverpool made for that. Thiago Akantara has tested positive for coronavirus and he's uh, self-isolating. Well, the 29-year-old only recently signed for the club from German Giants uh, that's Bayern Munich can make his debut as a substitute in their 2-0 win over Chelsea at Stamford Bridge last weekend. Well, uh, oh, just uh, some few days ago, his club played against Arsenal and was missing and the club released a statement on their website yesterday that the club has and will continue to follow all protocols relating to the COVID-19 and Thiago remain in self-isolation for the required period of time. Yesterday, the player also tweeted that he's doing very fine and is looking forward to joining his teammates after his self-isolation. We still stay in England and to Manchester City. And of course, they've signed a 23-year-old defender. That's Ruben Diaz from Benfica on a six-year deal for about £65 million. Pounds. Now, the Argentine centre-back Nicolas Otamendi has moved the other way we for a 13.7 million fee. It was really well. Uh, for for many years, I've been watching the Premier League, and uh, for for these years, uh, just that have uh, just passed, I've seen Man City one. I've seen Man City in top. So for me to be here, it means I'm on top now. That's what I wanted, and I'm really glad to be here. Words, it's for me. Premier League means all that, and to be able to play in the Premier League. Uh, in a top club like City, for me, it doesn't get much bigger than that. So we still stay with football and tonight there will be matches uh, elsewhere in the Spanish La Liga. Some great games to look forward to. Three matches uh, will be played. Four actually will have West Cali will take on Atletico Madrid. We'll see if Luis Suarez will make his full debut in that game. Villarreal Deportivo Alaves also happening tonight in the Spanish La Liga and then Eba Elche and uh, we also have Real Madrid will take on Real Valladolid and then when you go to the Serie A uh, we'll be having three games Benevento, Inter Milan, Udinese, Spezia and then Lazio will come up against Atalanta. There's a big game also in Germany, it's a, a Super Cup there and champions Bayern Munich, uh, they won the uh, German Bundesliga, they will come up against second place team, that's uh, Borussia Dortmund in there. That's also another big one to look forward to tonight in Europe and we'll definitely bring you updates on that uh, tomorrow when you join us 
here on MX24. But we, we have to continue and do some more. And away from uh, football, let's talk the French Open, also known as uh, the Roland Garros. Now, Novak Djokovic laid down the challenge uh, to his uh, rivals uh, by only dropping five games in a first round win against uh, Sweden's uh, Mikael Aim. Now, the Serb top seed, uh, who is bidding for an 18th Grand Slam and the second French Open East to a 6-love, 6-6 to six victory. Well, news coming through is that Serena Williams has pulled out of the uh, championship with an injury. So we won't see Serena. Uh, those of uh, fans uh, that are hoping to have Serena uh, win uh, another Grand Slam title is not going to happen in this very one because she's pulled out, so she has withdrawn uh, from the French Open due to an injury. Well, on that note, we end sports here on MX24. My name is Benedict Tosu. Thanks so much for watching. We are back tomorrow with more.